It's hard to ignore stereotypes like math is for boys. We see these tropes about who is drawn towards science, technology, engineering, and math, or STEM, played out in movies, TV, and other media, as well as in our everyday interactions and expectations. But did you know that these stereotyped beliefs are common in children too? Children as young as six years old believe that girls are less interested than boys in STEM subjects like computer science and engineering. Whether or not this is actually true, this stereotype is powerful. It's held across diverse racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic backgrounds, and from first grade on up. A big problem here is that this stereotype sends a signal to girls, starting at a very young age, that they don't belong in these fields. And in a vicious cycle, stereotypes may actually discourage girls from developing an interest in STEM. These findings come out of a series of studies done by researchers at the University of Washington and the University of Houston. The researchers find that stereotypes can actually cause a gender gap in STEM interest. For example, when girls were given the choice between two computer science-related activities, they were less likely to choose the activity the researchers described as the one that girls were less interested in than boys. The researchers also found that how strongly children endorse this stereotype predicts their motivation to pursue classes in computer science or engineering as they get older. When girls see computer science and engineering as fields for boys, they're less interested in them. These findings add to the growing body of evidence that stereotypes are a key driver of the gender gaps we see in STEM fields. So what can we do to counter this? The science suggests fostering a sense of belonging, which stereotypes can begin to impact at a young age. For example, watch out for cues of gender stereotypes in what we say and do, as well as the toys, materials, and media children have access to. These hidden messages about who belongs in STEM and who doesn't can make the problem even worse. On a larger scale, we have to change societal narratives, policies, and systems so that everyone can belong in STEM fields, not just those who fit the stereotypes of scientist or engineer.